Hey guys, today I want to show you a free tool that will help you make more sales on Redbubble. So with Redbubble, we know that there are three things we need to do. We need to fill out the title, we need to fill out the tags, and we need to fill out the description. And it goes in that order of importance. Most important for your search engine optimization is the title here. And as you can see, it's used a descriptive title that explains your artwork. This makes it easier for people to find your design based on their searches. Okay, perfect. Number two, we need to take a look at the tags here, the second most important thing. And these are how the audience finds your work. Use 15 relevant tags per upload. So that's great. Uh, we have a number that we need. So keep 15 in mind. And then use search terms your audience would look for to find your work, including your name, and separate them with commas. Okay, perfect. Then the description, last but not least, well, I guess it kind of is least out of these three, but last we have the description. Share the story or meaning behind your work. So there we go. Those are the three that we need. And the issue is, you know, finding them. And the tool I want to show you here is Top Bubble Index. So I'm just on Google here on Firefox because Chrome was giving me those issues for some reason that I mentioned in a previous video. We're going to go ahead and search there. And the first one here is Top Bubble Index. Let's go ahead and click on that. The biggest negative with top bubble index is, as you can see here, there are a lot of ads. However, that is something I personally am willing to put up with because it is a free site, a free resource for you. So let's go ahead and check it out. They have Redbubble tools, Etsy tools. Let's remove this. Come on, get out of the way. There you go. Etsy tools, Redbubble tools, design editor, image background, uh, removal, which I actually didn't know they had until I did this video here. Um, I usually just use Adobe Expresses. It's really good. But anyway, that's not what we're making a video about. We are coming over here to the Redbubble Tag Generator. And let's go ahead and search for, let's just say, Dog Lover. And as you can see here, this service is free and unlimited. So that's very important to me. If I want to kind of explore niches, the free and unlimited is important. Let's click Search Tags here. And it does take a second because it's running through all of Redbubble. But this one was actually pretty quick. So the hashtag at the end indicates popularity, higher is better. So the number, uh, the number at the end. And here you go. You have all sorts of tags that you have listed here. But remember that number that we wanted to keep in mind earlier, 15. You have copy top 15 over here. So let's go ahead and click that. We're going to copy the top 15. Let's head back over to Redbubble, control V. And there you go. You have your 15 tags just immediately, instantly. Those are the top 15 for this niche on Redbubble. So let's go ahead and actually explore Top Bubble Index a little bit more. You can go with trending keywords, and this is really cool because it'll tell you what's trending on Redbubble this week. I believe you can switch it to, yep, this month and today. So we want to go with popular searches. Of course, you could do trending, and that'll change it against all flags, best selling. Let's see, Street Cats, Ghost of Disapproval, but we're going to stick with popular searches. And it shows you how many search results there have been and how many new searches there are as well. So average monthly searches, 590 for this. That's not a lot. Um, Outer Banks, of course, that would be intellectual property. Can't use it, but 14,800. Stranger Things, I believe they actually have a collaboration with Redbubble, if I'm not mistaken. Um, part of Redbubble's program. Uh, where you can make designs for popular movies and TV shows. But anyway, uh, 20,400,000. So if Stranger Things is part of that, it would be wonderful to create for. Um, let's actually go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are in Redbubble's current brand partnerships page. And if you're not familiar with what that is, check out my, let's see, what was it called? It's on my phone here. The Redbubble Fan Art Program is what the name of the video is called, and you can check out the current brand partnerships, which we were looking at. Well, Outer Banks was one of the ones that we mentioned, and it is coming soon. And then we also looked at Stranger Things, which is currently active. So those 20 million results you actually are able to create for. Was it 20 million? Yeah, 20 million 400,000. You can create designs for Stranger Things, so... There's a hint, if you're on Redbubble and you like the show Stranger Things or uh, just want to create for it, you're able to do that. So Top Bubble Index can help you find those trending niches uh, just up here with the Trends Finder. And as you can see, uh, there are two movies on there, Str uh, Outer Banks and Stranger Things. So let's actually go back to the home here. 
and keyword research. We haven't done that one yet, have we? We have not. So let's go with, uh, let's just do dog lover again to keep it consistent. And we're going to go ahead and click search here. And it'll tell us what this niche is, uh, what kind of competition it has, and if it's a good niche to sell in, bad niche to sell in with the difficulty here. And I really wish these ads would stay out of the way when we removed them. But anyway, here we go. Competition in the dog lover niche, 916,175, which is an absolute ton. But of course, we know that there are a whole lot of searches, 90,500. And let's see, how much is that daily, monthly? Well, that looks like it's yearly. And then it's a medium difficulty, which honestly isn't bad at all. Uh, there's, you know, easy, medium, hard, but medium is pretty good. The most popular tags, as we can see here, dog, dog lover, cute, dogs, and those are what pulled on the uh, Redbubble tag generator here. And then the price range, you can see how things are priced. I believe it said stickers were the best seller. Yep, stickers are the best selling category here, which that's no surprise. I think everybody on Redbubble's best seller is stickers. Let's see what else they have. And most popular words, that's just a different way of putting it on here. Most popular categories, mostly stickers, followed by classic t-shirts, then essential t-shirts, and you can go down the list from there. Then related keyword search data. You can see gifts for dog lovers. Ooh, that's a good one if you uh, put that in your description. So gifts for dog owners. This has high competition, unfortunately. Dog lover without a space. So this one, not this one, this one right here is one that I would take a look at. So kind of similar to how I made a video about writing keywords and titles on Amazon merch. A dog lover without the space. Looks like it would be a good thing to enter if you're making a dog design on Redbubble. So there are 756 entries. You could go through all of them if you want to. However, I would just go through like the first 10. And looks like that's it for the research tool. Let's go back to the homepage. So there we have it, just a really quick rundown of top bubble index and the tag generator, keyword research, and trending keywords. Of course, if you're an Etsy seller, you can always check these out, the Etsy keyword research, Etsy tag generator, and Etsy trending keywords. I personally am not an Etsy seller, but we can take a look at these if we want to. And it looks like there's a lot more in-depth uh, research when it comes to Etsy, because some of these I have never heard of. So let's go back and go to the tag generator. And should we just do dog lovers again? I would guess it comes up with a lot of the same tags, but we will see here. Dog lovers gift, dog lover, dog lover, lover gift. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like it does. It looks like it pulls it directly from Etsy. Coin purses for dog lovers seems to be popular on Etsy. You could do copy top 15, or I don't know how many Etsy allows. You could do copy all if you wanted to, and then select all of these, although that is a ton. Uh, Etsy might see that as tag spamming. And I'm very interested in the design editor and image background remover. However, that may be for another video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Top Bubble Index if you're interested in learning more about Redbubble tag generators and keyword research. It's an extremely helpful site. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe below if you haven't already, and comment if you have any comments or questions, and I will see you next time.